have to wait for the last second. Because it's more fun. That's why. Is that what you call fun? Looks more like insanity if you ask me. Oh, really? You mean there's a difference? <laughs> Yumi, don't mention it. to launch an attack on Earth. You can't be too careful. Uh, may I remind you that going back in time makes Xana stronger? I know what I'm doing, all right? Well, if you know, then explain it to us. Just trust me, okay? Jeremy? That's not the point. That's my final answer. Return to the past, now. Jeremy's really becoming a pain. He just flies off the handle for no reason at all. He's like a time bomb. Who knows, maybe he's got family problems. Or else, he's only just realized he has a split personality and that when the moon is full, he becomes the son of Dr. Schrank, capable of grafting animal body parts onto human beings. And he now knows that he must face up to a fate worse than death. You've been watching horror at the hospital again, huh? How can anyone pass up such a fantastic program? Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. How's life, Einstein? Where were you? In my room. Why? Is there a law against it? Chill, will you? We were worried, that's all. I'm a big boy now, so just get off my back. Hey, you might just have something there with your Dr. Shrink theory. Ah, you see, I told you so. Right, in the meantime, I've also got to face a fate worse than death. What's that? Mrs. Meyer's class. Fail's property allows us to calculate length. For example, in a triangle marked ABC, with straight lines called RS and BC, which are parallel. First we calculate X, then SC. Hypothetically, ABC is a triangle. R is a point on AB, N is a point on AC. equals 7 times 8. 10x equals 56. And that's it. It's rather simple in the end. Ma'am? Uh, yes, Jeremy? Question? May I go to the infirmary? Oh, yes, of course. Do you want me to come with you? No. Mm -hmm. 
Jeremy skipped history class? And gym class, too. And now he's skipping lunch. Gym class and lunch, I can understand. But skipping history class is not Jeremy's style at all. I'm gonna check his room. Yes? It's me. I brought your notes from the classes that you missed this morning. Put them down in the bed. Jeremy, if there's anything wrong, you know you can talk to me about it, right? What's up with you guys? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just working, that's all. I've almost found the antivirus, which will free you from Xana. Isn't that worth spending some time on? Yes, of course, but you've been acting strange recently. You should take a break from time to time. Oh yeah, does Xana take breaks? No. So what do you want? You wanted to steal your memory? I really don't want to lose you, Jeremy, and I can hardly recognize you anymore. Aylita, there's something I have to tell you. Huh? You see, I told you Xana never takes a break. Hmm. Hmm. You sure you're done now? SOS Xana. Okay, Jeremy, we're on the way. Hurry up. Xana has launched an attack. We have to go to the factory. You over there, sit back down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I said, sit down! I shouldn't have said her mashed potatoes look like barf, I guess. If you ask me, this looks more like a xanification. Cover me. I'll try to reach Eileen and Jeremy at the factory. No problem. Ulrich, on three. One, two, three! Ready for another round? It's not every day we get the opportunity to break up the place. The activated tower is in the mountain sector. Well, we'll just have to wait for the others. What on earth are they doing? They're doing what they can. Xana has possessed Rosa. We'll have to make do without them. Hurry up. I'll start the virtualization process. Transfer you. Transfer Aelita. Scanner, Yumi. Scanner, Aelita. Virtualization. The activated tower should be straight ahead of you. We can see it, Jeremy, but there's also an army of monsters blocking our way. I have a funny feeling we should take cover. Come on. <laughs> Yumi, Aelita, are you okay? It would be a lot better if you could materialize the overweight. Okay, coming up. Jeremy, how's it going on your end? Because over here, we're starting to run out of ammo. <laughs> Jeremy, you'd better hustle. May I remind you that Rose's specialty is chopped sirloin? Come on, ladies, get a move on. Odd and Ulrich are in a really bad way. No kidding. All we need here are some sandwiches for a night picnic. <sighs> we'll never get through. Hold on a second. I've got a little idea. Little or big, it doesn't matter as long as it works. feels like against Sylvester. And Jeremy, what are you guys waiting for? Aelita's <sighs> in the tower. Just hang in there for another 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds? That's like an eternity. <clears throat> Whoa. 
Jeremy, I think this calls for a return to the past, don't you? Right, I'm launching it. Get ready. Return to the past now. What's he up to? He should be here already. Why don't we go check his room? Jeremy, wake up! It's terrible! Eileena has fallen in love with Herb! No reaction. This is really serious. Right. I'm calling the hospital. Look! His eyelids are moving! He must be dreaming. What could have happened to him? Something must have happened during the last return to the past. Xana? I have no idea, but I think it's worth checking out the supercomputer. I'll go with you. Should we search Jeremy's room? I really don't want to do that, but... Nothing special, except that I just found out that Jeremy still wears underwear with kangaroos on them. I'll have to tell him to move on to boxers. No activated towers, but there's a ton of files. Hey, I can't open this one. It's called My Journal. The logs are all normal. There certainly was a major discharge of energy during that last return to the past, though. But they're no different from any of the previous returns to the past. Rick? We need you. Can you meet us in Jeremy's room? Okay. There. And I got it. It wasn't easy, but I got it. These are video files. Just open the first one. Today I have decided to start a video journal. A bit like the diary of Franz Hopper kept. This way, if anything happens to me, others might be able to continue my research. My search to find the antivirus which will free Aelita from Xana has never been closer to total success. And it's thanks to Franz Hopper's diary, and thanks to the data recovered from Sector 5, that I was able to decode part of his diary that explains how to use the returns to the past to logarithmically increase your intelligence. I immediately tried it. It's amazing. It's as if my brain suddenly had the processing power of 10 computers linked in series. A neuronal headset. Open the most recent entry. This one's from yesterday. Every time I use the headset, my mental and physical health gets worse and worse. But I'm moving so far forward in my research, I can't stop this close to success. That's all we needed. Is there anything we can do to save him? Let's go to the factory. I'll meet you there. First, I have to stop by the infirmary. I want to make sure that Xana's attack isn't directed at Jeremy. Come with me. There are papers we have to sign. Huh? Hey, my ambulance! Huh? Is Jeremy in there? Yes, but he isn't driving it. I'm gonna try to do something, but I'm really counting on you guys. Okay. We'll go as fast as we can, I promise. Odd, Ulrich, are you in position? Ready. Ready. Virtualization in 30 seconds. I'll be right there. Materialize the vehicles. We we'll have to go on foot.
But do you mind telling me how? Make it fast, because we are heading straight for the river. Maybe you shouldn't have said it so loud. I've got an idea. I love it when you say that. Laser arrow! how to reach the tower. Yeah, in fact, Yumi and Jeremy have gone for a dip in an ambulance at the bottom of the river. Just a little tarantula to get rid of first. Shield! Odd, leave it to me.
Yumi, we got it. Aelita has deactivated the tower. Super, now we can drown in peace. Ulrich, we're still at the bottom of the river. The only thing that can save us now is a return to the past. But I have no idea how to do that. Put me on. Ulrich, I need you to do exactly what I say, okay? Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yes, wait, wait. Not, not so fast. Where's the button? I, I don't see it. Quickly. Uh, on the right. On the upper right of the keyboard. The jump button and ultimate blaster. Uh, okay, I got it. Return to the past now. Don't tell me he's out cold again. Jeremy, no! I've checked the calculations I've done over the past few weeks. Most of them are wrong. So, you were destroying your health without even improving your brain power. I wouldn't call that a very good deal. Do you think that Xana had something to do with it? He certainly put me on the track, but the information did come from Franz Hopper's diary. In some way, then, we have not just one, but two enemies. Hopper is certainly not an enemy, but his discoveries are out of our league. I think we better be careful. For now, the important thing is that you get back to being your old self again. That's for sure. Seeing you so grouchy, you were getting to be like Dr. Shrek, uh -huh. or even worse. Hulk? Hey, I am not grouchy. <laughs> yeah, right. Give me a break. Well, all right. <laughs>